Hello, hope you're doing great. Reza here, and welcome to this tutorial where you will learn how to connect and use component signals with robot programming in Visual Components. This tutorial is the second part of a three part series, and the downloadable layout was created in the previous tutorial. When following any tutorial, check the lesson in the Visual Components Academy and if the download files option appears you can download the example files. So what I'm planning to do is to put a robot over here and a conveyor on the other side pick the part from this conveyor and place it on an exit conveyor using the robot. So I clone the conveyor don't need this sensor anymore on the exit conveyor if I press play you see that part arrives on the sensor location and the indicator light is there. What I am planning to do is using a robot. So let's go to manufacturers and visual components folder, get a robot, generic articulated robot, and also a robot tool, parametric suction cup, attach it there and also a robot pedestal in the middle of both conveyors and putting the robot on the pedestal. Pedestal could be a bit thicker so width 600. Now that looks better. Okay. Let's place the robot a little bit in the middle. Looks good. The one thing I am missing is the product, which I want to set it to be a box. So let's go to products and containers, scroll down fully. I want the last product in the list, which is visual components box. Then I click on feeder, product creator tab, define products. And then other than this product, I click on it. I need a new product type, click on it, go to component URI, click on the component URI and then click on the component itself. So you see now the visual components box is mentioned here. So when I press play, still the cylinder, why? Because I need to tell the feeder, make boxes for me. So product type on the product creator should be Product type one, press play and beautiful. Now we have the box coming in. Well, not as beautiful as I expected because I want the box to stop because then the robot will pick it. For that, we need to do signaling first. So I go to program tab. Then I click on the robot. And you see that the robot program is empty. This is where I will define the programs to pick and place and also wait for the box. But first I need to create the signals under the connect tools group. There is a signal option. We had the similar one under the home tab if you've seen the previous tutorial, but here I can use simply this tools group under program tab over here. And when it's activated, you see the signal bars. So what I'm going to do is actually when the part arrives on the sensor, I will send a signal here, sensor boolean signal, I will send it to robot. And as robot input, the signal number should be 100 in this case. I would choose 100 because up to signal 81 under the robot, we have those reserved for other purposes. So if I go to right side while robot is selected and signals are active, I would show you the signal filters. So you can see from signal one, if I scroll down, they are used for, for example, trace on and off. In the beginning, there was grasp and release, then mounting tool and unmounting tool, tracing again up to signal 81, which is for swept volume. So I would use something after that. And typically I like to start with number 100.
and what happens when the part arrives I want to tell the conveyor to stop so conveyor has a power on signal I connect it to the output and say it's 100 output number 100 from robot so robot will tell the conveyor to stop that's enough with the signaling then I will create three robot sub programs first one is wait for box or just wait box pick and then place in the very first step I will set the signal 100 to be true meaning I want to run the conveyor of course the conveyor is running but if I stop it later I want to run it again in the next cycle of pick and place then I will wait for the signal 100 to be true and when it's true I want to stop the conveyor so copy this signal and paste it this input 100 sorry setting output 100 to the last one and make it false meaning that the conveyor should stop so now I go to main program and I would now call for a subsequent program let's say so call the second statement wait box so if I press play box arrives on the sensor and it's a stop great pause the simulation now what I can do is to go to the box and pick it so I click on the robot and then I would go to pick program here on the down right I go to the jug tab and change the tool to be gripper TCP the other thing I could do while selecting the robot is to go to component properties actions configuration and select output one because that's the output I want to use to grasp and release the box then I scroll down and I say in this output one use the tool gripper TCP because that's the one I'm using now for the suction cup gripper so then what I would do is to grasp this donut and bring it on the box and I would teach one linear motion and then bring the gripper up to this level let's say one mistake that I did it's now under the main program what I could do is to continue building it here and then just copy paste or cut these statements and take it to the pick program or then I could just simply delete press reset go to pick select the robot again let me on jug mode check that the tool is gripper TCP press play until box is arrived and then press pause donut bring it up here again pick program it will go down to pick the part in a linear motion and then bring it up till here let's say and I would teach twice point-to-point -point motions and put the first point-to-point -point motion as the first movement and so it will go there then it will go down then it will go up but before going up on this linear point I want to set the output one to be true which is grasping the box so press reset go to main program and let's put this second sequence to be pick press play so box stops robot goes there and picks the box good now I just pause it and the one thing I'm doing now is going to be taking the box to the other conveyor 
So I could use the shift trick, hold down the shift on your keyboard, grasp this corner of the box and place it on the other conveyor. And I'm holding now the left mouse button and also shift. And now I release both to go and press escape button on your keyboard so the align tool is deactivated that was a shortcut for the align tool you see that it's written down here align started with tcp and align finished after i press the escape button now click on place sequence and then create a motion statement linear bring it up again two point to point motions which one is before dropping the part here we drop the part and then we go up again but then before i go up i want to release the box so set output one to be false press reset press play okay robot didn't move why course because in the main program i'm not saying to place the box another calling for a sequence and then place the box pick it place it nice but of course this is just happening once but of course to make it a loop we need to have a while statement that while through these three while i hold down control will be moved in the while loop and then i press play again so robot picks it places the box on the exit conveyor then the next box comes and this is now going till eternity great this is what i wanted to review with you Please go ahead and create your pick and place task using the signals. Have a good one and bye for now.